Hello folks, welcome back to more Burial at Sea. This is quite possibly the last video of the series here. Quite possibly, I'm confident. And this is gonna be it here. Mr. or uh, Dr. Suchan. Green solution, not fine in genetics. Oh, got a vital chamber. Try to move them. Let's see here what we could do. Mm. Mm. Scary. Stay away from him. He's scary. Look, it's it's okay. He, he can't hurt anyone. Scary. Shh. Shh. Can you move? You, I, I don't. No, he's, he's just hurt. He, he just needs somebody to to, to figure out how to fix him. I, maybe there's some, I don't know. Is there some documentation for him around here or something? I don't right. think. Yeah, Look who not asking him much help. I'm definitely not gonna need much help. Assume this is part of the not gonna be any combat here. It's hopefully not. Huh. Encoded. Big Daddy will not imprint. If not imprint. Good as he's a little sister. She no like him. He no like her. The situation is impasse. Unacceptable. All right. Stupid beast had half brain. They would realize they need little sister to live. Sisters secrete only kind of atom that is genetic match for them. No little sister, no big daddy. Of course, big daddy needs their little sister in order to survive. to do something. Big monster sick. Big monster it's okay. Sick. It's, it's okay. Please. I, I don't know how to help him. He needs Adam. I, I don't have any of that. Big I don't know what to do. Going to die. Not fair. We can help. Turn 
dreams. That means it's good. Dirku. Ass in the hole, I mean ace in the hole. Oh, uh, sharks. Cognitive conversion. So there's an ongoing series of reconditioning therapies. All therapies. Have been outlined in the notebook. Strict guidelines have been provided. Dr. Fisco, client Ryan Industries. Many frustrating days. I can't seem to get the damn big daddies to imprint on the little brats. The protection bondage is just another form of <sighs> Get on it. Maybe if I modify the genetic sequence to... <laughs> sure. There's uh, a sequence to allow for... Get away, you filthy little shit! <laughs> So we've met Dr. Seuss Sean there. I think I vaguely remember this happening in uh, the Bioshock, the astronauts of Bioshock 1. This is it. This is the ace in the hole. All the pain and all of the death for this. Freaking took me ten hours to complete both episodes. Enter wall. We got the Gatherer's garden here. Hey, sister, over here. Jackass is here. Do you have it? I have it. Give it over then. Oh, I'm keen to get this brat off me hands. Andrew Ryan said I was a rube, but he was wrong. I'm not the rube, Atlas. You are. No. We both know what happens next. Just get it over with. Well, love, if you insist. Very familiar. What is this? It's just a bunch of gibberish. What, what does this say, you little whore? Hey, hey, hey! hey. What? 
What does this say? Well, she ain't gonna speak because I'm whacking, whacking inside her head there. It says. Would you kindly? Would you kindly? We've got the activation phrase. Now all we've got to do is get that genetic freak of nature on an airplane and rapture's ours. Yeah! I chose. This starts the whole series here. Jack. That's it. Painful. Yeah, so... Definitely bad, kind of bad ending there. Saw Booker die there. Also Elizabeth died. Well, Booker Crush died twice there. So, yeah. But that's how the story of Bioshock began there. Come full circle there. So. It's been fun. I definitely enjoy playing this game here. The main game and the very old C there. I think uh, definitely best game of the series there. I mean, all three of the games were great there. This this one story wise seems like it's the best there. You now you have all the chaos and turmoil and. All that stuff and how the story of Rapture began and what it was there. You ready? Yep. Oh, God. 
see the pyramids along ah. the Nile. Watch the sun rise from a tropic isle. Just remember, darling, all the while. That's interesting. They use two different people for me. their um, thing. You know, it's the the voice see actor has got marketplace in two voice actors Algiers. for the same character on there. Send That's kind of interesting. Just remember when a dream appears. I don't know who the hell that is. You belong to me. And I'll be Cart so Bailey. alone. I don't give a crap. You. Maybe you'll be lonesome too. In a silver plane, see the jungle when it's wet with rain. Better not be, better not be a strike on there, or I'll be pissed. Again. You surely, belong surely to me. I mean, I'll if something's so in a, if some sort of song. In a game, it should not, should not have a Maybe copyright claim in it. In my opinion, too. I mean you. And blue. I mean you use the song. And the song wasn't using any plane. media or anything, else, especially in video games. It should be the a copyright claim because. Because the. Just person or whoever made the song should, should have no rights to claim the song. To me. And also, not don't have a right to take it down. Yeah. So yeah, that's my opinion. So this didn't last that long, so that's give give kudos on that one. So yeah, definitely enjoy playing this series. Been rumors that there might be another Bioshock game in the near future. That'd be quite interesting to see how, I mean, how the story will go. I mean, uh, Infinite and One are tied close, somewhat tied close together. Two is somewhat, I mean, two, two is great, but I don't think it, I mean, it does have little connections between those two games, but it seems like it's, Seem like it seemed like his own story there. So yeah, I think third one might be its own story there. It'd be kind of interesting they'll stick with stick with being in the the 20th century, the no, this was said in the early to mid uh, 20th century. There, one well, they'll do a some sort of time jump there, be 1970, 1980, 90s, or might go in the future. There, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, this game has a lot of sci-fi stuff there there would be kind of cool to jump towards the late 21st century or beyond that that'd be kind of cool to see feeling hot under the collar 
Stay frosty with the plasmid that lets you enjoy life at a cool pace. Yeah, it's turn down the gives, heat gives and those, turn uh, up developers the some ideas there. With be kind of cool. Winter, from Bioshock said in the future. Have the rapture rebuilt, then tore back again by by synths and cyborgs and whatnot there. And then you have humans and cyborgs living together but the cyborgs a program gets corrupted and start killing almost every human out there. Bouncing off ideas there. So yeah, we'll see what happens. There if they decide to make another Bioshock game there. And like I said, I like playing this game. Things I don't like. I mean, the, I mean, first of all, episode one, two. I mean, the main game is great. Episode one's g good. Two is great. There. It's different types of gameplay between those two episodes. There, of course, you got the conventional uh, stuff on episode one and two. It's kind of more stealth and tactical. That's it there. Again, we have the Clash of the Clouds, but that's that's a multiplayer base um, uh, arena, some sort of um, content. We won't get into that. We might, I don't know, might do. If I be able to live stream, I might be able to do that there. Also the also that um other one um Bioshock one there that that one's a um things a arena multiplayer type deal there I don't know or I I think it's I think it's some different but yeah pretty much it there I don't think there's much to do after this so yeah it's been fun. Enjoyed playing it, not only this game but the other two games there as well. You can see why they won won a lot of awards there, including Game of the Year. Um, no first one game, one Game of the Year. I don't know what the other two there. I think it was nominated somewhat, and possibly they won it as well. Um, This game here, graphics look great, sound look great. Best of the series there. Things I don't like, um, the main in the main game, you only get to carry two weapons there. That's kind of a downer. Um, of course, in the first two games, you get to carry pretty much every every weapon out there. But on this one, you only get to carry two. On there, which is kind of let down. Um, I don't know what else I can. Not something else. I think of. I think I'm missing on the finale of the main game there. Um, 
on the Feral Sea there, they reverted back to the old um, control layout from the first two games there um, somewhat. I don't like that there a bit there. I mean, the controls on this game are, are what you expect out of uh, most first-person shooters there, which is really fantastic layout there. Um, for gameplay on, yeah, I like the gameplay on the first episode better than the second episode. Cards kind of suit kind of my style and of gameplay. I guess go aggressive and risk a lot of risk there. But I do, but second episode, I mean, it's it, it, like I said, it's different gameplay. You know, you, it's more stealth, more tactical there. It's it's pretty neat there. And the problem with that is, I think you've seen um, one episode that hit detection was awful and not only that no both both episodes um i don't know I mean, the main game had it but the ammo max on all the weapons they were really low there i mean you you have to pretty much conserve ammo which is which is kind of dumb there especially you know you have a crap load of enemies there that you have to take down there and most of the weapons aren't that good there. Shotguns, especially on episode two. Man, god damn, that shotgun was awful. Took more than four shots to kill somebody in that one episode I did. Man, that was just, oh, that was aggravating there. Man, I had it on hard, but still, me. You no, know, two good shots of it, and that of that shotgun, you can take down an enemy. That's the way it should be. But no, you have to pretty much almost waste your whole clip on them to get them killed, which is unbelievably stupid. And just pissed me off there because it's just it's just aggravating. But. Did enjoy playing this game. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching it as well. I think I pretty much completed mostly every get every nook and get every detail of the, the, the lore of it in this game there. I think I might miss a few, but who cares? So anyway, hope y'all enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy the series there. I hope you enjoy watching all three of my uh, gameplay Let's Play series of the Bioshock series there. Hopefully they'll make another game soon there. I've been reading all about it and hopefully they'll hopefully they'll stick with the controls of this game instead of the first two games. So yeah. Thanks again for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Be sure you like, subscribe, see more of my videos. I'm gonna try to get back on uh, Lost and Random there, um, because I have to start the game all over again since I made that switch from Xbox to PC. There, I'm about halfway through um, where I am there, so I left off on uh, the the second to last uh, town on there so I'm not too far off there so once I do that I'll get back on to that and hopefully we'll finish it off by the end of the year so so that'll be it for that and make sure you like subscribe again see more of my videos and I'll see you next time with more videos and hopefully some live streams in the near future so long, everybody.